a blue check, it's wraps. It's a different world. Getting a blue check? Yes. Do you think getting a blue check is is bigger than having a Lamborghini? Yeah, low key, it might, it might be. It might this, be in this generation because everything's about social media, clout, and fame. Yeah. This. Oh my goodness. Do you think, okay, do you think having like luxurious shit doesn't even compare to clout? Luxurious shit? Because in a mm. sense, clout is power, right? Yeah. No, because you can convince people that you have this luxurious shit even though you don't have it. Even though you don't Re- have remember, it. Remember that there's a picture where so it says like social media doesn't show you anything, but there's a flash and a guy showing his Balenciaga shoes. Yeah. But everything around him is like a dusty ass house, oh, dusty ass thing. Oh, shit. That it doesn't. That's kind of like Tekka. If you think about it, remember in the, his interview? Oh, he did. He's yeah. talking about like, oh, driving all these cars. I don't even drive. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting all these guns. I don't even shoot guns. I don't even shoot guns. <laughs> no, facts. He's talking about all these bitches. He has, yeah. he has. Oh, I have a girlfriend. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but like sometimes you gotta fake it until you make it. Like, who's one of the biggest? Like, not nah, you can just say even me. Like, but remember before <laughs> I was wearing fake BB belt, fake off white pants. Yeah. And then now they know me for fashion. Like I didn't mm. have that. So you think you think you should fake it till you make it? There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing I, wrong I, I, with it. I don't it? say there's you you don't you have to, mm-hmm. but there's nothing wrong with it. If if you're a rapper and you wanna please the crowds, get a chain. Get like a fake chain. Be like, oh shit, he has a chain. He must be doing something. I'm gonna go to their page. Do you think every single artist then? <laughs> What? It might be every single artist. Do you think every single artist at some point like fake something to make it? Oh, for sure. Have you to fake something till I make it? I don't. I don't know. Really? Fake something? I don't. I don't fake know if something. whatever faked. I mean, uh, this this whole studio. People think we have a. studio. Oh, we have a big. Yeah, people think we have a big <laughs> studio. This is this is literally my bedroom. Yeah, but, but we tell you guys all the time. Yeah, we tell like, them. We can't even upgrade the chair. Like everyone says that, but like no, we can't. It's instantly <laughs> it's gonna guys, touch. Guys, it's gonna touch a bed. Guys, if I move. Like, that's all I can move to. <laughs> like, you feel me? So I can't do big motions. That's true. So yeah. do you think the fact of being small or the mm-hmm. fact of having that, like, relatability yeah. pleases on a different level? Yes. Yes. Because there's two sides, right? Mm-hmm. There's one side. It's like you can you can appeal to the people that are that are chasing bags, chasing mm-hmm. money, yeah. show them luxurious shit, mm-hmm. or you can show them the humble side. Yeah. But your day ones, the one that knew you from like this room, mm-hmm. won't ride for us as hard when oh maybe you guys get a big studio, you guys are changing up now, mm-hmm. right? It's like oh you changed on us, you're you're you want to impress new viewers. Mm-hmm. They kind of forgot about us. Like we will never forget you guys. Yeah. Like, the OGs. Honestly, I don't even want to like. That's why I'm saying. Yeah. Like th- this is this is nice. Like, yeah. Exactly. I, I don't. I don't care about having yeah. no big place. Yeah. This and that. Because at the end of the day, it's just content. Right? Exactly. I know. That's why I said. And um. But I. I re- think I told this story before. But Bart and Geo. Yeah. When they upgraded from their like little studio mm-hmm. to like a two million dollar studio, the views went down. And he, Bart says that was one of the most like dumbest ideas that he's ever had really because yeah. he spent all that money yeah and the content wasn't getting any better it was the regular content that they could shoot at the studio that they were with mm. so what's the point right yeah what's the point there i think i think what you want to do if mm. you're like trying to evolve different yeah. content i think you just got to switch stuff up or yeah. you got to like find a way to evolve it yeah in a different sense rather than just like looks yeah so so you agree with like um if it's not broken don't fix it but you can always evolve damn i don't know what well what do you think you think you shouldn't Fix it if it's not broke? Yes, for sure. A hundred. And I can I can relate it to basketball. Like you go on. Damn, but I'm a futurist though. I'm like oh, always, I'm always like, how can I upgrade it? How can I upgrade it? Mm. But for this at least, for this yeah. at least, I'm not thinking about that yet just because yeah. we don't wanna be spending on that. You I, know what I mean? Yeah, it, I feel like though there's a certain time where you have to do change it up. Mm-hmm. But like for right now, what we're doing right now, we yeah. can't fix like if it's not broken, don't fix. Mm-hmm. The theories, ghost stories, everything. We have to stick with that. Like that's our need. No, no, no. Because that, that's what I'm saying. We can we can evolve it in that sense. Yeah. Of like how to move the conversation. Exactly. But rather than rather than just like the looks and all the you yeah. know what I mean all yeah, the yeah. All mechanisms and the true, bullshit. True. Yeah. We don't we don't have to. Mm-hmm. But I think for me, whenever I look at anything, whether yeah. it be like uh something I own, mm-hmm. like let's say I had a toy or whatever. Mm-hmm. I get bored of a toy. I'm not gonna cap. True. Yeah. If I had a if I had a toy for like over a year when I was a oh, kid, I got too. I got bored of it. <laughs> me too. Yeah. So do you do you stick to if it ain't broke don't fix or does it does it depend on the certain thing you're using? It always depends. Depends. Right? Yeah. Because like with this stuff, they can go a hundred episodes with just us two, mm-hmm. but maybe in the future. Okay, I'm gonna give you a question. Yeah. Do you think we can do us two for like a thousand episodes? Yeah. And people will Easily. still watch? 100%. Damn. 100%. You don't think so? No. <laughs> what? You I don't think like, so? No, with like the same content, just us two? No. Yeah, I think so. No, I don't I don't believe it. You don't believe that? Th- there's gonna be a point where people are gonna be like, because everyone's already asking for a three-person podcast, mm. right? And 
I, I, I know right now it is not the time to do a three person podcast. Yeah. Like t- it's perfect. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying like 500, that's a lot already. No, like you don't bro, think people but- would get bored? Like that's when I, I was like, okay, let's evolve this. And we're still here at the same studio. Nah, but listen, listen, listen. Same thumbnail, same everything. Nothing has changed. This, this is why I'm always telling you shit. Like you should have other stuff outside of the podcast, fam. Okay. That's why I made Can't Tell Me podcast so I can do those stuff. Okay, then you doubt it. Then that's just you saying you're doubting no, it. No, I'm not doubting it. Listen, listen. <laughs> okay. If, if that's the only content they get out of us, mm-hmm. then it gets boring. Oh, but if I there's other, if there's other things, like yeah. let's say, let's say I have vlogs, let's say I have the other podcast with different people. Plus I have like, I don't know, some streaming, whatever you want to do, mm-hmm. you stream, whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oxford's content, whatever. Yeah. Right. Then they have more of like a catalog, but it's still Carlos and Gabby. Yeah. Me. Okay. I, I kind of get that now. So, so you date, because look, look, maybe one day I don't want to watch that episode. Maybe yeah. one day I want to watch something else, but it's still Carlos Gavin, whatever. I know, yeah. I Think know ahead, bro. Know, Futurism, bro. <laughs> I know. That's good because all my friends are very successful in what they do. Yeah. So it's good that I stick with them because if I didn't have you guys, then I would probably be lazy. Because as soon as, <laughs> no, for sure. Because it's like, if you hang around lazy people, you're going to get lazy. True. Like in, in general, I'm like, I'm more work smart than mm-hmm. work hard. And oh, for half sure. The, for and half sure. the time, if you're working smart, half the time you're not doing nothing. <laughs> you're trying to find. <laughs> you're trying to find a ways to finesse it. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Like I, I barely picked up my notebooks for school, and I'm still getting high ass grades just because it's online. Not cheating. He's yeah, not, I'm not cheating. cheating. I'm not cheating. <laughs> <laughs> if my professor sees allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. <laughs> If my professor see this, I sort of got him studying. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, you got to be careful about that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the one thing about podcasting. It's so dope because you have a voice, Bro. but you got to be careful who's watching. Bro. Damn, sometimes I forget. Maybe I, I say something yeah. and then somebody like that knew me before yeah. <laughs> comes by and I'm telling a story. The story about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've actually gotten I've actually got a DM from a, from a really old friend. Yeah, and what they're is like, it? Oh, you told the stargazing story. I'm like, what? I'm oh, like, the stargazing. Like, oh, <laughs> Yo, do you think it's weird though? Or is it whatever now? For I me, it's I think cool. it's, it's it's whatever. It's yeah, like it's whatever. But before, I was like, I kind of was picky of what I like said on the podcast. Mm-hmm. But now I think I'm at the comfortable level where it's like the homies. So like, yeah, I can say whatever. Are you comfortable with your own voice now? Like hearing your own voice or not? Ah. Uh, Mm, it's iffy it's iffy yeah, it's yeah. Iffy. i'm getting i'm getting used to it yeah because mm, i know i know a lot of youtubers actually uh-huh that they'll, they'll tell me yo i still don't like my own voice i'm like really, really? who said that like if, like if my, my my uh you know sabrina cruz shout out sabrina cruz one time oh, Nerdy Nerdy Quirky. Yeah? Yeah, Nerdy she has a nice she has like a nice like youtuber voice though yeah yeah, yeah. but i think i think it's just like the um the idea because look mm-hmm. you know you know you know how like sometimes when you heard your voice on camera and then yeah. you hear it later and it sounds like oh what the fuck is that yeah, right? yeah. you get you get like insecure about it the reason that is uh-huh. is just because we hear it through a different like peripheral oh, okay so if you actually want to hear what your voice sounds like without like the camera <laughs> go on snapchat record and listen to it no not just that <laughs> okay you can go like this and you'll be able to hear yourself like hold on you're, okay, you're gonna hello, hear hello. yourself in a different perspective. Hello, hello. It sounds different. Oh shit, it does. Right? Whoa, because I always, I always thought my my voice was really like squeaky, but when I did that, it's not. Yeah, so it gives you a better a better uh, sense of what you sound like. Yeah, you know what's really mind blowing too? Like we see our noses are pointed out, but we never see our nose when we like look down. What do you mean? That was like a high moment I had. You never. I do see my nose. You do? When you look, wait, no, like our nose is like pointy and like right in, in the middle of our face, but whenever we like look down and shit. Like, we'd never see our nose. I can see my nose right now. What are you talking about? No, you can't. Yes, I can. I can see my nose. Okay, but like... Okay. <laughs> what are you talking about? This guy's high. <laughs> no, no. It's like a thing. Like, people people won't, like, see their nose. And oh, it's, on... it's when you don't notice it. Yeah, when you... Because I don't notice my nose. I don't notice my nose either, yeah, but I see I... it if I try to see it. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get to. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But, you know, um, this is what I used to do. I okay. used to think I was, like, some next... Uh, What's that thing where you can move your mind? You can move stuff with your mind? Oh, um, tele- telekinesis? Telekinetic. Yo, when I was a kid, I thought it was telekinetic. How? Because I used to put my 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 fingers like this, like a circle, yeah, right? Yeah. And I used to look through one eye. I looked through the other. I'm like, I moved you. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> it's just my no, eyes. I, I had that with like bottles or objects in my place. Yeah. But I had this like really weird moment. I remember this was yesterday. Mm. So I was on the bus. I think it was just because I was sleep deprived. But there was um end of a bus where it's like dusty and has all like the crumb. Like the, the end of the bus. So you mean like. No, I, I guess like the floor. Yeah. And it has like a pattern. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. So I focused so much on the pattern that it started moving. Like. It, oh, like, no, that happens. That okay. Happens. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I was like, what the fuck? That happens. <laughs> that happens. My ass was like. 
<laughs> I was like, I'm gonna try and open the door now. Yo, when I look at it like a uh, uh, popcorn ceiling too, yeah, that shit happens to me. Okay, like, why is that though? A lot. Yeah, why is that? I don't know. I'm not sure. That's weird. But but I think. Oh, you know you know why? Because mm-hmm. I notice sometimes when I like. Let's say you're running on a treadmill, okay. or let's say let's say you're on a long drive and you're looking at something moving for a long time, right? Oh, then the it's... motion, the motion, and then when I look at something away from it, mm-hmm. it looks like the motion's still there. Yeah, just because your your brain is like trying to keep up. Yeah. Have you ever been in those situations when you're in in big traffic in a hot summer day, and then you look out like on the sides of the car? Oh, when you see the mirage and shit. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, the yeah, gas yeah. Or whatever that is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's actually a study where. You can't take your phone out or if if you take your phone out for too long, your phone will explode. Why? Why? If you have the windows down. Because I think that's like really bad gas coming out of the car's end, like tank. Oh, that's why? Yeah, on a hot summer day combined with the heat, it'll make like electronics like, like, like function different. Blow up? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure too, because you hear those stories before in like cartoons yeah. where they'd have like a mirage and they're in the desert alone yep. and then they can see like... Oh, there's water. There's something there. Do you think that's just hallucination, or is that actually something you see? No, I think that's hallucination. It's just hallucination, yeah, huh? For sure. If you're so thirsty in a desert, fam, I'm hallucinating like everything. Yo, I wonder what that feels like, man. I'm, Haven't you had that though? Oh, like like, a, like just sleep, just off sleep though. Hallucination like that. Yeah, it, remember you? T- you're like when I'm sick, I see dwarves. Like what kind of? <laughs> no, 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 no. I was seeing, I was seeing like robbers and shit in my house. <laughs> Not dwarves. <laughs> I swear you saw that though. No, no. I, I hallucinated like that in a sense, but I never hallucinated where I'm like interact. Actually, no, I have. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, I think yeah. it's the same. I'm telling Maybe you. Maybe it's all the same. Yeah, yeah. It's like paint. Because when I was, um, I slept in my room after I painted my room. Yeah. And, and you smelt it. And I smelt it so much. And that shit was like. Oh, that's really super bad Super bad. You. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that can give you like cancer and stuff, Oh, yeah, bro. yeah. For sure. There's that. that no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't pointing at that. I was pointing at this because um, there was actually a thing where it's like the most dangerous product in the world what is it and it was actually a card game a card game yeah. most dangerous product how yeah. so it was a hannah montana card game right and wait and this is this was- the the prediction one i think so why you had it yo no i was at i was at value village i saw it no yeah was- i was gonna pick it up okay listen, i heard about it before that okay so this that's one of the most dangerous products in the world so listen they tested it. It's, it's all about the show and predictions, right? Yeah. So they took it to a lab mm-hmm. and they tested it for the amount of lead. Oh, fuck. And turns out the card game was 75% higher than industry standard. Oh, shit. Yeah. And it was, because of the paint. Yeah, exactly. And it wasn't just the card game. They took like the Hannah Montana lunchboxes and all the Hannah Montana products. Yeah. All tested higher than the industry standard. Yo, Hannah Montana. I holy know. shit. And fam, that was for kids yeah that's all for kids exactly i'm pretty sure the shrek cups at mcdonald's or something too really yeah the shrek cups at mcdonald's because they had like the special um it was like saint patrick's green yeah and that green dye supposedly hurt people's like immune system really yeah they recalled it all all of it yeah so if you find it it's actually worth money because it's so rare okay but why would you want it though because if you're smelling no because it's part of history oh my god it's part of history like yo that that happened one day that happened one day no that's scary though because you don't know if if you're smelling something bad just playing a card game Mm -hmm. my my auto shop teacher actually told me a story before oh yeah so his mom she had like this uh it's like a a mitt like an oven mitt and it can withstand as much flame as you put it to you can literally put a flamethrower on it and will be fire resistant right but the main ingredient in it yeah was asbestos what's that some some type of lead. so it's asbestos is what they used to use in like really old houses for mm. insulation okay. and they also use it in some products yeah but asbestos asbestos is actually very cancerous oh shit it's cancerous and there's so many stories yo um so one one Typical story you'd hear is like asbestos from the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. Did you know in Nicki Minaj's verse on on Bedrock? Yeah. Wait, was it Bedrock? Yeah, it was Bedrock. <laughs> Bedrock. Yeah, yeah. Nicki Minaj said, "Coming off the top, asbestos." No, that's so <laughs> far. Yeah, yeah. So that's coming off the top, asbestos. So you saying yeah, like, like the best? Yeah. But coming off the, the top, top. Oh. asbestos falling down. Yeah. No, that's a hard ass yeah. line. <laughs> What do you think is the most outrageous, I, I was gonna say. outrageous bar you've ever heard? I, I know Drake has a crazy one too. Oh, I'm yeah. trying to think of it. Oh, like a good th- bar? No, it's like it's like a out of nowhere bar. Like why, why you gotta oh, say that? Oh no, Yeet has a crazy one. What do you say? What do you uh, say? Oh fuck, hold on. It's like it's like a oh it's Bob. Fuck, hold on. She she has a fat ass 
Bob the Builder or something like that. <laughs> Bob the Builder, B O B, big old booty. <laughs> oh, yeah, you have to break that like one it. down. Slow it down. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. I'm trying to. I'm trying to see the Drake one. It, it's on forever. Well, let me let me check. Hold on. I know it's something. It's something like. Why do you say that? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna spit the whole thing for you. Bad, bad, bad. This is you're saying this is the craziest bar you ever. It's heard? not a crazy bar, but okay. it, but it's like a typical one. Like okay, okay, you know how he said swimming in the money, come and find me, Nemo. Okay, right. If I was at the club, you know I bald. Chemo. Chemo? Chemo, chemo therapy. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so, it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, I, that's been way crazier. Yeah, ones. there's probably crazier ones. Yeah. There's probably crazier ones. Let me think of one. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Because I know that, okay. Actually, let's switch it up. You know who has crazy bars, but like are just, you can use it as all captions. Baby Tron. Do you know Baby Tron? Who's that? Remember the guy I played in the car who switches beats? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. His yeah, song yeah. switches beats. He has the craziest like Is he popular like that? Yes. Yeah, he's big. <laughs> you know what Wale said? What? Wale said, good pipe make a girl to to good wife good morning wood i just need a termite <laughs> what <laughs> oh wood, good morning, morning wood, wood i need a termite oh that's hard <laughs> nah okay i know the craziest one okay, i know okay, the craziest yeah. one i know yeah, the what? craziest one ever what, what? A- and, and we all sing it like it's nothing yeah this is 100 percent the craziest rap lyric we all ever heard okay but we just like allowed it okay and if i just bleach your asshole and I get bleach on my t-shirt, <laughs> I'm gonna feel like an asshole. <laughs> oh my god. Nah, Yo, Kanye. we're singing that everywhere, bro. Nah, Kanye was crazy. We're for singing that, that everywhere. <laughs> and that was that was old too. So we were singing that as a kid. As kids. Yeah. As kids, that came out like 2013, yeah. bro. <laughs> so we're like, I just bleach my <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Yo, I think, okay, this is my theory. Yeah. I think the moment Nicki Minaj dropped Anaconda, that's oh. when everything got sexualized. For sure. For sure. You Everything. Know, fam, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little kid horny as hell just cause that music video. Cause like, I, I could get off by, with that music video. <laughs> Did you not? Don't lie. Don't lie. I didn't I, watch it like that. No, Stockholm. come on, man. Come on, I'm man. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, th- I think I think my favorite one was- um, Miley Cyrus? No, nah, nah, Miley oh, Cyrus. Miley Cyrus Wrecking Ball? That was- I never oh watched my, that, that bro. Was I, I didn't watch one. it like that. Any Miley Cyrus video when she had the blonde hair- Oh, when she went crazy. When she had the blonde hair, I tell you, all the kids like- 2000s kids yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys definitely got hard off that shit she, that was when she was really trying to like go off yes, yes. she was trying to change her whole freaking her whole audience yep yeah i think um what was it oh it was wrecking ball yeah it, told it, it, you. that was wrecking that was wrecking ball that was the one that made headlines yes yes that was a big one and then she had another one uh she was oh 23 oh yeah yeah, yeah. 23 when she was like all hi i'm perp with yeah, my jays yeah, yeah. on yeah that oh one. no but i know this is i know you remember this one um Fuck. Uh, which one? Which one? It was, um... Fuck, I forgot it. Like, <laughs> which one? But this one was like, everybody was like so horny off of. Was it Ariana Grande? No, it was like Tyga. It was Tyga. It was Tyga song. Oh, it was Bedrock. No, no, no. Hold on. I actually have to search this up. Tyga? It was a really sexual one. Like with the party and all the girls. <laughs> That's Bedrock. Hold on, hold is on. Is that not Bedrock? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. No, fuck, I forgot it what was. Is it? I uh, forgot it was. Was it Miley Cyrus? No, it was Tyga. It was Tyga. But it was like, um, I'll, I'll search it up later. I'll put the song in. Yeah. But it was the music video where Tyga came and was went into a castle. Yeah. And then she had like a party with naked girls. You don't remember? Was it Rack City? Rack City. I think, I know, I think it was that. <laughs> I think, it's I think it was Rack City. Yeah, I know Rack it's City was I so know it's Like that shit was so sexual, fam. Do you think that pushed our whole generation to be who we are? Yes. Like all of those things combined, fam. Yes. I think I think that was the agenda. Because it yeah. all came out at that time. Mm, oh, And it's still true? pushing. It's still pushing everything. True. Do you think... Do you think that was all a ploy to sell us porn? Oh, are, are they in cahoots, fam? Are they in cahoots? <laughs> <laughs> the handshake? <laughs> we got you guys if you got this. Fuck. If you think about it. No, but that doesn't make sense because the porn, the porn, um, you know, the DVDs when you went in and sold, they stopped. Like now everything's online. What if in preparation for that? Because it's like timing. Yeah, maybe it's like, oh, you guys, you guys um, uh, are not getting any business. Let's just move everything digital now. Let's make pornographic videos like movies and that's gonna push it to now we have only fans everything's digital like you can mm. shit like that you know what's crazy to me what books never like went out of <laughs> never got outdated yeah that's true have you have you bagged that yeah because no, we I, have we have movies we have television we have like digital media mm-hmm. but books are still around yeah 
maybe that's a sign. Like everything you need is in books, and w- which is true. But like people are not gonna read that. Isn't that kind of crazy though? Yeah. Like for example, like uh, film cameras, mm-hmm. Polaroids, whatever. We have digital. We we're like to hell with f- with film. It's just yeah. for like artsy shit. Yeah, that ass. But books, it's like we still keep it at the same. I mean, even though there's digital, yeah. and we're still printing like millions and millions of books. True. Why is that? I actually don't know. Do you think? Do you think they get a like a? Uh, I don't know, bro. That's, that's really weird to me. I, I, I just don't think it can go outdated. You don't think it can go outdated? What, what if technology fails? Then we have nothing. True. We can always fall back on books. Because it doesn't it doesn't like rip or destroy and shit. Like I mean, you can rip and destroy a book, but it's like... I don't know, man. No, that's weird to me. No, that blows my mind, though. That <laughs> yeah. blows my mind how that's one thing that we still use today mm-hmm. is like paper and books. Yeah. And we're always talking about like, oh, ecocentric. Yep. Oh, we still got books around. Exactly. Ebooks. We have ebooks and everything. That's weird to me still. Yeah, yeah. What's your favorite book you read in high school? Oh, The Outsider, probably. Oh, The Outsider is my favorite. Because yeah, yeah. Outsider is <laughs> my favorite all time. Because yeah, yeah. that was like gang, gang, gang. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like the little kids and Yo. shit, and then when we were out, when we went out to recess, mm-hmm. we we're like, oh, we were playing like ca- the characters and shit. Like, no, I want to be soda pop. No, like, that ass, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to, I used to, I bought like a, a leather jacket, like a no. black leather jacket. Yeah, like right after I finished the book, I'm like, yo, okay. I'm, I'm drippy with this. <laughs> How was the Wico drop? It's going crazy. It it's nice. going it good. Nice. It's going Y'all good. Orders? Honestly, with Ship Station, that <laughs> ship been blessing <laughs> me. <laughs> so Ship Station has been organizing all of my orders, mm-hmm. all of my shipping labels, mm-hmm. and everything I've been worrying about has been taken care of. Yeah, no more time wasted on that. You know me. I only use the best services I can, mm-hmm. and Ship Station is trusted by over hundred thousand e-commerce sellers, mm-hmm. including mine, Wico Studios. So you guys can save time by funneling all your orders into one. Inter- interface no matter where you guys are selling so this service manages every order so if you guys are selling from amazon etsy even your own personal one you can do it all on your phone ship station works with every carrier so you can find the best fit for you you'll also get access to discounted rates that are usually reserved to fortune 500 companies so save your sanity knowing your orders are handled and you guys are getting the best discounted rate so make shipping the easiest part of having an online business you guys have better things to worry about so ship more in less time with ship station so use our code Code jumpers J U M P E R S. You guys get 60 days free. That's two months free, no hassle, stress free shipping. So just go to shipstation.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and put in our code jumpers J U M P E R S. Shipstation, make, make ship, ship happen. happen. Yo, but did you ever read Catcher in the Rye? I think I. I read it in English class. I, it's I think in high I, school. Yeah, high school. A, a lot class. of high schoolers read it. I think around like the senior or like yeah, junior year, right? Yeah. Now, did you know mm-hmm. Catcher in the Rye? Okay. There's a theory that it might be a trigger for assassins. What? So take this in, bro. <laughs> Let me hear it. So Catcher in the Rye, right? Yeah, yeah. It's actually connected to two murders, very historic murders. Okay. In uh in history. Oh uh, yeah. In US history, pretty okay. much, right? Okay. So the first one. John Lennon. No. So John Lennon, he was murdered in yeah. front of a hotel, I believed. Yeah. And this murder, this guy that killed him, yeah. the police asked him, like, why why did you do this? Why did you do this? Why did you want to do this? Yeah, yeah. He said, Everything you need to know is in the book Catcher in the Rye. What? Yeah, so everybody's puzzled, like, why catch in the eye? Why <laughs> yeah, catch in yeah. the eye, right? Now, another another murder, actually, mm-hmm. I think it was an attempted murder okay. for the president of the time, yeah. Ronald Reagan. Mm-hmm. So somebody tried to kill him. Okay. And when they caught him, yeah. he said the exact same thing. Yeah. What you need to know is in the catcher in the rye. Holy smokes. Wow, my face is itchy. Yeah. <laughs> My face this like guy's fiending. This guy's coke addict. <laughs> <laughs> super, okay. I was not like, holding it in. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, ready, ready. I'm leaving that in. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. <laughs> I, okay. So um, I think professors in universities, yeah. they try to study like what could have triggered them to cause that, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you look into it, catcher in the rye. It's yeah. almost as if it was written to make people hate. So throughout really? the book, throughout the book, the main character Holden, yeah. he's talking about, oh, this person's a phony. Yeah. This person's a phony. I should shoot them. Okay. This person's a phony. So it's almost like a brainwashing yeah. throughout the whole book. It's a hate on society. Okay. It's a hate on people. Mm-hmm. It's a hate on just life. Okay. So there's one really, really like scary line in the book. Mm-hmm. It's like, I wear this hat all the time. Mm-hmm. And it was this red hunting hat, right? It's my shooting hat. I shoot people with this hat. Oh nah. So at the end of the book, right? He has this um he has this realization like mm-hmm. I'm going to be the catcher in the rye. And what that is is yeah. 
the one to save the kids in the rye, like looking for people that got lost, right? Yeah, yeah. And there's this whole idea of it that even though he's a villain in some people's eyes, okay, he thinks he's the hero by by helping the by lost, helping. yeah, yeah, by yeah. helping the lost. Oh and so these murderers and these like people that have those thoughts in their head, if they read that book, they're gonna just become they're more, more likely to do a murder. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. <laughs> then, then why do? Oh, you brought it back? Yeah, bro. <laughs> oh shit! But then, then why do we? Why do we? Why do we like the English teachers give us that? Then I think it's just um. But you notice how English teachers they love literature where it's like, oh, death. It's tragedy. Yo, yeah. Tell me why all the books Ro we learn <laughs> in Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet tragedy. Macbeth tragedy. Outsiders. There's tragedy. Tragedy. In that shit too. There's always killing. There's always something. Yeah. But I think what it is, it's it's almost like there's a poetic. Mm -hmm. There's a poetic feel. There's yeah. something romanticized about like violence, right? Fuck, I don't know. You think that's the original like um, I guess dilemma or the like original plot, like like plot problem? Yeah, because mm. a lot happens around murders, a leading up to a murder. Yeah. What happens after murder? What the repercussions are? The yeah. family that's affected. True. Maybe that's why murders are always so prominent in books. What do you think? I feel like. That that gives people the chance. To, oh no, I don't want to say that. Nah. <laughs> that's fucked, that's fucked. Yo, know. did you know actually the Joker? Uh huh. So when the Joker first came out, okay, it was um, I think they debuted it in TIFF in Toronto. Yeah. Right, and they had police border the whole area for the Joker. You know why? Why? Because there was initiative. It was on Reddit or 4chan or something. One of those underground forums. Did it take it over? No. So the Joker, yeah. right, is connected to the incel community. No. Yeah. So, you know, what incels are like, yes. like people involuntary celibate. So yeah, they can't yeah, like yeah. get played. They can't yeah, get pussy, yeah. right? Facts, facts. So there was actually a, a terrorist attack. No. There's sure. a terrorist attack before the Joker mm -hmm. led by the incel group. Yeah. This like extremist group. Yep. And that was the one you heard about it. They drove a truck down the street yep. and then and killed yeah killed all the pedestrians right. Yeah. So there was like plans in Toronto to attack the Joker movie because right. the Joker, you remember at the end scene, mm -hmm. like society doesn't care about people like yeah, me. I know. And then all of these incels, they took it as like, yo, this is our guy. This yeah. is our guy. I know movies have such because no that ass like when I watch the Joker, I feel like a demon. Yeah, like, yeah. That shit makes it's me it's dark. Exactly. No, movies and like books in general have a big influence on us. Like you go out of Batman watching the Batman and uh, uh, every time you're like You you feel it? <laughs> yeah, you're just like something, something. in the way. <laughs> <laughs> you just feel dark, bro. You feel no. dark. We're dressed all black. <laughs> did, did you hear the story about how uh, Kevin Hart's mom and they ha didn't have money to pay the rent bills? And then this is what Kevin's heart mom said. What? So Kevin, Kevin Hart was like, "Mom, like, can you can you give me some money for the bills? Like, the rent is due. Like, I have no money." Yeah. And then uh, Kevin's heart's mom was like, "Did you read the Bible yet?" And then oh, Kevin's heart the like, Kevin's heart like, "Mom, mom, like, don't worry about the Bible. I'll read that shit later. Like, mm -hmm. I need money." Next day comes, "Mom, I still need that money. Did you read the Bible yet?" He's like, "Mom, what the fuck? I don't I, like. I'll read that oh, shit later." Oh, I know where this is yeah. going. <laughs> he opens the Bible. Like, once the 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 time comes, yeah, and all the money is there. Mm -hmm. And then Kevin starts so funny. He's like, his mom asks again. He's like, "Mom, she's like, did you read the Bible?" He's like, "No, but I got my rent money." But. <laughs> 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 Everything he needed was in that book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, yeah, my eyes are bad yeah, lately, yeah. bro. I just got I just got a prescription. Uh -huh. Fam, I had this conversation with Josh, right? Okay. Would you rather have like color blindness where you couldn't see color mm -hmm. or no taste? Oh. Color blindness. Color blindness. I have to taste something, fam. Rather than rather than sight. No, no, you can still see, but no, you no, just... no. You can you can only see black and white. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Just black and white, totally like fine. no color. Totally fine. As long as I'm seeing what I'm living and I have taste, that's that's good with me. With taste over color. Would you take color? I would take color in an instant. What? I would take color in an instant. Fam, there's. I think there's stuff to give you like sunglasses to give you like stuff back. Like no, no, back. you can't. Like you specifically no, can't see. No, it's no, only no. black and white. No, like there's. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's cheating. That's cheating. Aww. You can only you can only see color. I mean, no color. Still, still. you still choose taste over color. Yeah, because if you said blindness completely, I'm taking my my eyes, but I can still see. I just miss out on some color. Nah, that I'm totally fine with that. Mm. But taste is such an important thing because like that ass when men's were having COVID, they're like, yo, I that ass like I fucking was depressed because I couldn't taste anything. Oh, really? But if I can see something, I'm blessed. I'm I feel like you'd be more depressed though. Going what? going back to movies and stuff, right? Like when you watch a movie in black and white. Yeah. Isn't it gloomy? What? Isn't it gloomy? It gives you off that like noir feeling. Get me? Yeah, but so- Dog, if you don't see color, you can't really play video games like that. You can't really enjoy movies like that. 
And you will never be able to see like sunsets, rainbows, all of that stuff. Nah, but taste is different, bro. Nah, like, bro. Taste is like in your body. I can, as long as I can see my loved ones, it doesn't matter what kind of color I see, bro. As long as I can see them, I'm blessed. Nah, bro. No, bro. Trust me. Like your taste is way more important than than seeing some type of color. You should. Be I think grateful. you take it for granted, though. I think you yeah, take it for granted. No, we do. No, compared to taste, I feel like taste. Taste is overrated. What? No, no way. <laughs> this is why. This why. This why I say taste overrated. Because because if if I didn't have taste, I, I said this on the other podcast yeah. with Josh too. If I if I How didn't have taste, food? I would eat healthy. Oh, <laughs> no. I'd be a vegan. I'd be a vegan. <laughs> no, that makes no sense. You're not gonna enjoy the the beautiful pastries of life, the beautiful foods of life. You're just gonna eat nothing. Like, nah, that doesn't We're talking sense. about, I'm, I'm eating healthy. Nah. I'm eating healthy, fam. Trust me, trust me. Listen, 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 listen. You eat healthy, you become, the, you become a vegan, you'll feel like super, a top, super powerful a top and shit. Pleasure, a top simple pleasure in everyone's life is going out for dinner with family. You're not going to enjoy that. Yo, you, yeah, you listen, listen, that, listen. But, I'll but, see color though. I'll see color. <laughs> okay. You're taking away your color, bro. No, no, no. No. You this can go on for hours. <laughs> All you hear is like the intro for, for you can't tell me. You can't tell me. You, you can't do art no more. What? You can't do art no more. You don't have color. My art will be 10 times better just because I can't. Are you insane? Listen, 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 you listen. can't see color. No, listen. You can't differentiate pink from, from light green. That's why it's going to be sick. I'm just going to have a paint bucket and it's going to be random colors. What You can sell that for a million dollars because it's not. The most trash no, art I ever not. seen, bro. It's no, going to be the most not. trash art. No, it's not. No, it's yes, not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Because fam, it'll turn out different from regular art. So my skies will be purple. My land will be blue. You feel no, me? No, but you're gonna Someone's mix it. Gonna what if it's a light brown? Okay, that's <laughs> even more fire. <laughs> no, it's not. That's even more. It's not. Trust you're gonna have the ugliest dude. colors mixed together, bro. <laughs> nah. you're, gonna, you're gonna have like red and then and then yellow over here nah. and then browner right beside it. Did you see that one where it's like? A painter is painting a picture in red light. So all he sees is like, you can't see the paint. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see that. It I see comes that. out so fire. Everyone's. No, but he's an artist. He's used to that. Fam, I'm, and, and going going back to it, look, look, look. Let's say let's say you want to go out and just enjoy nature. Yeah. Nature's going to be black and white, bro. It's going to be rainy every day for you. Bro, as, as long as I see trees, fam, I, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, you're going to see trees, but it's in black and white. No. You're not going to see green no more. I'm such a positive person that I don't even need color. You you're me? insane. You know what I mean? But nah. yeah. Nah. I think color 100%. Okay, yeah. We, we can continue this when I feature on your other podcast. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, nah, no, no. I've, I've been colored, fam. I don't, think, I don't think there's anything that can beat that. No, there's a lot. There's a lot. I think smell's overrated, though. Okay, smell's kind of overrated. Smell's kind of overrated. Smell, but but here, I think the most too important is taste and hearing for me. Taste and hearing? Sight. Sight is the most important. Yeah, okay, yeah. Sight, sight is too, but like, since he was colorblind, I can still see. That's why it's not a big deal for Maybe me. Maybe touch. Oh. I feel like touch. Yeah, touch is crazy. But you're not going to get no pleasure no more. Yeah. <laughs> How are you going to do it? <laughs> yo, that, was, Just, yo. that would be sad. That would be sad, you know, bro. You know, you know there's guys online who know how to like bust without their hands. They're like, what the fuck? What's how this guy for you face, bro? But like, they have such crazy imaginations that they can just, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Nah, Gavin's crazy. Nah. nah, you know that. I know I know. Gavin saw that and nah. he's like, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> this guy's in his bed. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's going, this guy's going Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> it's like my mom walks in, just me going like this. <laughs> Have you seen that kid? Have you seen that kid that thought he was a Super Saiyan? What? You no. haven't seen that video? No. Oh my god, I have to play that video. <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. No, so there's this kid. This is a viral video growing up in elementary school. <laughs> okay. He thought he was a Super Saiyan. What? Look, look. No, this, this is so f You haven't seen this? You've seen this kid. Listen. He's so he's dead ass. Listen. Um This is something that's been on my heart for a long time. <laughs> you know, why is he so serious? I wanted to be in life as a super saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah. No, this isn't a joke though. Oh so, God. so he pretty much says, "Okay, I'm gonna try and and, and go and, into and super stay yeah, yeah. super saiyan mode, right?" Holy smokes! I watch him go. Watch this guy. He puts on the music too. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, he's serious though. I've seen edits of this guy. He's so serious, look. <laughs> oh, <his veins>. <laughs> 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 This video? No, I see. I seen this part. I see. <laughs> <laughs> that part, yo, this 
this is this is young Josh. <laughs> <laughs> this is young Josh. Yo, that's uh, Gavin. That's Gavin. After you saw that TikTok, chill, chill. after you saw the TikTok with the nah. with the with the mind busting. <laughs> you know what? You know what's very nostalgic. And one of the best games I played on the DS mm -hmm. was the Naruto game. I'm gonna edit this. <laughs> <laughs> Which game? Which game? Um, you know the one where it's like they run up and then like you have to collect the the ninja stars in the. It was real. Oh, I think I played that before. Yes, yeah, yes. Actually. Yeah. I, I forgot the game, but I never watched Naruto when I I was like a little boy. Yeah. But I always loved that game. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Did you get into anime after that or not? No, I didn't. Which is surprising. I'm surprised because usually uh, uh, it's an Asian thing. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's usually an Asian thing. Yeah. But you see, like all cultures love yeah. anime. <laughs> Did you know there's like t stages of like Asians and how we grow up? So stage A mm -hmm. is like um when we have the weird glasses and we have all the clothes that are passed down on us. Yeah. Like this one we're very small. Stage B is like our awkward phase. We have the, oh I heard we're, yeah we're going through like the weird hairstyles and then you like stage C is like we're getting there. Everybody starts working out. Yep, yeah, yep. yeah yeah yeah. No, and then stage D is like when all the the K dramas, all the Asian influences finally come up on us, like rap, and then we go our mm. certain way. Some turn out very Asian with K dramas. Some whitewashed. Oh, that's kind of true. It is. No, it is. Do you, I don't know. I don't know if ah, uh, actually, <laughs> whitewashing Asian is a real thing. Still. It is. It is. Damn. And that, and that happens from for a lot of people who are born like in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy rich Asians whitewashed. Crazy rich. You know Asian? that movie? Is that whitewashed? Oh, I don't think so. Cause it was written by. By Asian people, so I mean, mm -hmm. oh wait, hold but on. it feels a little bit. I'm yeah. not gonna lie to you; it feels <laughs> no, a little I, bit. I think the plot does because it's the story about uh, Asian marrying a richer, and yeah. usually the richer is a white guy. Yeah, no, oh, that's we so got true. it. We that's got so it. True. Yeah, yo, that's actually so true. Because listen, whenever, whenever you you probably have an aunt that's with a rich white guy, don't you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I have the same like, one. That's like every feel. I feel like I feel like some. Now, okay, I'm not gonna say oh, that, no, but but like some people, some people go to go to Philippines and mm -hmm. go to find like a Filipino wife. Yeah, you know I mean, oh, to just, I think some people just do that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Is that weird? Do you think that's weird? It that is, is super fetishizing. Weird. It is super weird. Fetishizing in general is super weird. Mm -hmm. Have you ever met like a boyfriend or girlfriend of a family member you didn't like? The vibe wasn't right when they showed up. So like, so saying my cousin brings a, a boyfriend home. Yeah. Oh. To That's be a good honest, question. no. You know why? Why? Because I think I think just because she brought him, like I don't want to make him any more uncomfortable than he already is. Because mm -hmm. I know he's he's trembling inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know? So I don't think I'm gonna say like, oh no. Yeah, I, actually, I think I agree with you. But, but where, later, I have where I you thoughts. try, yeah, where you try to like make it a thing. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes, sometimes the vibes not oh, yeah? out there, right? Yeah, true. Have you ever been invited to like a Filipino family jam? Hello, what are you talking about? No, no like with like a Filipino girlfriend or like. You or like a family jam where like you met their parents and stuff like that. Yeah, hella. Really? Hella. Oh yeah? I, I've done better with the Filipino parents than uh than any other culture's parents. Really? Yeah. Because yeah? it's so easy to like, oh hi Tita, like I can do this, I I, I can uh, show show signs true. of respect. Because other cultures, yeah, <laughs> uh, you don't know the signs of respect. So you don't know if you handshake, you hug, you kiss, right? Nah, you can really you can find your way, yeah, bro. Yeah, you but, can find your way. But fam, Filipino is so easy, you bless. I don't know. I think you go find your way because it's, it's very like, if you if you just act proper, if you yeah. act like a uh, polite, okay, you'll find your way, man. True manners goes a long way. It does. Manners goes a long way, and they'll notice it. I promise. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's studies that they cause so they did a test where how Android users and Apple users are different. Yeah. And they said that uh, I think they tested a thousand people, and they said that. Apple users have way less manners than Android users. Apple users, really? Yeah, because yeah, they're all. I guess they're always on their phone and shit like that. Androids, they, they never. So never, Android people are nicer. Yeah, they're nicer, and they they are more uh, humility. They have more humility, so they're you can they're humble. Them. Yeah, you can trust them more. That kind of makes sense because they don't yeah. give a shit. They have an like Android. Yeah, but but they, <laughs> you're dissing. Yo, uh, shout out to Android Ooh. users. We love you. I was an yo. I had an Android for a long ass time for too, real? bro. I had an Android for. A long ass time Damn. too but i just switched over because of group chats and shit oh okay. you know yeah but it did prove too that apple users are more extroverts which makes sense because mm. android's like the nerds <laughs> nah this yes. song no no every everyone that i have that i know is an android user is either like plays valorant or like is into stocks true or some shit like that true you know why though because android they actually have better like gear yeah like actual better features and shit it's yeah. just apple made it so that 
if you want to connect on certain things, you have to be on Apple. Yeah, exactly. It's like getting um, it's like getting a game that's only exclusive to one console. Yeah, that's exactly. the exact same. Shit. No, that's that. That's it. If you're more extroverted and, and are want to make um, what do you call this connections? Yeah, you have an Apple. That makes sense because I think it's like a symbol of like, oh, I'm extroverted already. Yo, so you're telling me you're telling me the moment I switch from my Android to my Apple, yeah, like I became more extroverted. <laughs> no, maybe that, it's not. No, I promise you. It's maybe not. I did. I, I feel like if people seen you in public with the Android, they're not. They're not gonna come up to you real nah nah low-key low-key yeah if you see you on android yeah nah is, no, is that relax. True what, what nah this could be a debate because mm. would you rather approach a person with an apple or android everyone has apple oh when you think of Yo, apple you think of instagram going, going back to the theory i said before okay because we're already brainwashed that the villains have androids and the oh. heroes have apple maybe you think like that already maybe that's another way um movies influence too yeah Oh no, that, that's why. That's exactly why, bro. Yo, also going back to um, like ex, or I mean, girlfriends or boyfriends coming yeah. into your household, right? There's actually a theory with Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss? Yeah. What? You ever heard about it? No. So there's a theory that Dr. Seuss, uh -huh. the cat in the hat, okay. is actually a metaphor for a drug dealer. <laughs> what? Listen, listen, hold listen. On, hold on. Green eggs and ham. <laughs> no, Dr. Seuss, cat in the hat. Oh. Cat in the hat. Cat in the hat was a drug dealer? Listen, listen, listen. Okay, let me so, hear So, cat in the hat, uh -huh. right? That's actually a term they use to call a cool person okay. in like the 60s, 70s, 80s, right? Yeah. That cool cat. The okay. cat, the cat in the hat. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So, the theory goes that the cat in the hat mm -hmm. is actually a reference to the mother's boyfriend okay. coming into the house and causing trouble. Oh. And it just so happens the cat in the hat oh. may also be a, a drug, drug dealer. dealer. That's why, why that's why all of these kids, the two kids, yep. they're they're seeing these crazy, crazy things happening in the house, right? Shit. Also, you know the 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 goldfish, right? Oh yeah. You know how the goldfish is always talking to the kids, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. Your mother wouldn't be wouldn't want you to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's their conscience telling them no. to do these drugs. Yeah. Now Thing one and thing two. You remember them? Yeah. Thing one and thing two. <laughs> they're delusional. I, I know they're not a thing. Listen, listen. Thing one, thing two. What would you call drugs if you don't know what they are? Oh, thing one. Thing Things. <laughs> Yo, so listen, listen, bro. Listen. So there's two of them. Yeah. There's two things. One and two. Okay. And there's two kids. Yeah. One and two. So thing one and thing two were notorious in the book and the movie yeah. to what? Cause trouble, wreck up the house, <laughs> doing all these crazy things in the house, right? Uh -huh. Now it's actually them. Thing one and thing two is actually the, the kids, kids on the drugs. No. What? <laughs> That's why they look crazy and have the blue hair and shit. Yeah. Holy smoke. So the cat in the hat is their drug dealer. No, it makes sense because even the, have you seen the Cat and Hat live movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, so it's, weird. it's crazy. The, the way the cat moves is like very suave, very mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm going to send you these drugs. No, because like, he's, he really acts like he's that, that boyfriend of the mom. Yeah. yeah. And if you take that look on it and go back and look, yeah. I'm going to show you a clip okay. real quick. Yeah, bet. You can't tell me this is sauce. This isn't sauce. No, this is where I saw this clip. I'm like, okay, this okay. is exactly what it is. Okay. Listen to the fish. Listen okay. to the fish. Okay. FBI, listen, listen, I am a fish residing at 2322 Magnolia Boulevard, and I want to report a cat in the hat. FBI. I want to report a cat in the hat to oh. the FBI. Yeah, drug dealer. Why the FBI? Drug dealer. Knock, knock, come in. Where the drugs? Exactly. Nah, that's fucked. Also, Dr. Seuss, he was notorious for, like, being on psychedelics, bro. Oh, yeah. You can even look at his books. They're all yeah. green, blue, white. All of those. Well, why do you think it's so, like, Nos like oh and i was gonna say nostalgic but like you it's know. like weird right yeah it's like it's like the color it's like he just did a shroom trip and then wrote a book yeah that ass yeah. that's exactly what it's like <laughs> you see the the trees are wavy the colors yeah. are are like loud yes right i know i have a, since we're hopping back in nostalgia you remember up right up yeah 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 do you so do you know the theory that carl actually killed his wife yo i said this on on a nostalgia trip in long time no ago way. <laughs> with the paint yeah i said this on nostalgia Fuck. trip <laughs> I was so proud of that one. No, no, no. I know why you know that because because uh, Justin Obi's copy <laughs> does copied me. <laughs> oh, that's they why. Copied me. Yeah, they that's copied so me. funny. So because so, I made up that theory. Oh, that is. <laughs> yeah. I made that up. No way. Yo, I that's, was a, that's, no, that's <laughs> never been said, but I made that shit up. No way. Are you dead ass? Yeah, I made that up. No, props <laughs> to you. Because I the, I was talking about asbestos. Yeah. Asbestos caused her, her lung cancer. Oh. That's when she died. Because they're playing in the old house. Oh, good thing I did it. Good thing I didn't mention that. Because you know how I was going to transition that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With like the paint and the lead. Yeah. Oh, 
Did you see that cycle? So Carlos made it up. Just to know if he's copied it. I was gonna copy it. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. That's no, because I made that. I literally made that theory up, <laughs> fam. <laughs> like, I wrote it out. Like, that's fucked. Yeah. Nah, that whole cycle is just crazy, dude. <laughs> it just came back around. It came back to me. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, how it be sometimes, bro. Know, that's how it yeah. be sometimes. I'll let something loose and then someone's <laughs> gonna catch on to it. You know? No, that's I don't even know where to go from here now. <laughs> Cause it's like you caught me in my tracks. <laughs> nah, nah, that's cool. That's cool. You can oh. leave, leave this in, fam. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know that feeling when you go for a walk in the park mm -hmm. or like you take a hike in the woods? Yeah, what about you, it? You get that like energizing feeling. You oh, get facts. that that <laughs> vibration coming yep. to you, right? Yep, nature, when you're around nature, just energizes you. Now, what if uh -huh. I told you you can get that same feeling with the products you use? Oh yeah, what product? Shout out to our sponsor, Everyman Jack. Yes, sir. They include that same experience in a bottle. Their men's care products feature naturally derived ingredients, outdoor inspired scents, and responsible packaging. So right now I'm still anticipating my Everyman Jack package, but as soon as that comes in, I'm gonna replace my body, all my body washes, my conditioners with those products every man jack has everything you need to feel and look fresh from body wash deodorant and skincare to shampoos bombs and oils to tame and nourish your hair and beard make every day feel like a getaway with incredible scents inspired by the great outdoors so every man jack works exceptionally without the harsh chemicals like parabens and dyes that can be abrasive to your skin and make it feel all dry they use as many clean naturally derived ingredients like activated charcoal caffeine green tea and even shea butter need something else to feel good about well, here's three. Every Man Jack uses responsibly made packaging. They're a National Forest Foundation partner and their products are all cruelty free. Every Man Jack men's care, naturally derived, outdoor inspired. Look for them at Target, Walmart, and Amazon or go to everymanjack.com. The link will be down below in our description. Make sure to click it. <laughs> no, but honestly, yeah. When it comes to stuff like that, when um, mm. let's say I have an idea yeah. and I show it to the world, right? Mm -hmm. 100%, there's going to be people that want to like, profit off of it yeah. or find a way to use it themselves or copy. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. It's just the sense of you got to look back at who's the OG, who's yeah, the original. I know. And they don't credit. The thing that you can copy, I guess you, you're saying is like you can copy, mm -hmm. but there's a certain aspect is like, or like degree where it's okay, obviously plagiarism. Yeah, yeah I know, you know. I know. And you think there's a difference between copying and plagiarism? Yeah. It's just like a higher degree. I think, I think plagiarism is where like, you you take the exact to the T, yeah. like word for word, bar for bar, blah blah blah, yeah. and then you don't you try and hide that it's it's not. Yeah, that's when it's like plagiarism. Yeah, that's true. But I think when you take something and revamp it, make it your own, yeah. and actually add something new, mm -hmm. put your own opinion onto it. Yeah, that's completely different. Yeah, that's true. You know what's really smart? I think um when I said the COVID theory, mm -hmm. one person copied it. Yeah, and, and just like took word for word, which I was cheesed about. And then you know the new ghost story. Yeah, that I said mm -hmm. everyone taken that one but they're instead of you know how we don't make the part two yeah they're making the part two so people go to their video oh yeah, which is that's kind of smart though. So. Yeah. this supposed to part two man. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> well listen i have two. another ghost game for us you have another ghost game yeah so this is so this ghost game is called blue baby blue baby yeah okay. and this is this is how you summon i guess bloody mary or whatever they call it yeah yeah so this is what you do so at night, right? Mm -hmm. You go into the washroom by yourself. Mm -hmm. Already red flag, right? <laughs> <laughs> you turn off all the lights and you stand in front of a mirror. Fuck, bro, that's Bloody Mary. No, it's not. It's it's, cra it's different, fam. Okay, okay. Because listen, so now you start going like this. You start making this motion. You know you're standing in front of the mirror right now, right? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, <laughs> holy fuck. Maybe you should No, but this is this is in a washroom. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, fuck. Why did you say that? <laughs> okay, continue, okay, continue. No, I, I don't want to do it no more. No, okay, just continue. No, no. So you do the cra <laughs> you do the cradling motion, right? Yeah. <laughs> and while you're doing the cradling motion, you say, baby blue, blue baby. And you say this 13 times. Okay, yeah. yeah. When you're making the cradling motion, a weight. You're gonna feel a weight of a Yo. of a baby in your no, hands. No, someone that's scared. <laughs> Trust me. And as you as you keep saying baby blue blue baby, yeah. the weight will increase and increase. And once it gets too big, yeah, you're gonna start feeling scratches on your arm. Oh shit! Because you know how when babies when uh you have little babies, yeah, their, their nails are very sharp, mm. right? 
So now, once it before it becomes too big, mm -hmm. when the weight becomes too strong for you to hold it, yeah. you have to drop it into the toilet and flush Why? two times for security. Because before you drop it, yeah. behind you will be a, a lady that comes up and she'll oh. scream, give me my baby back. What the Until what? the mirror fucking breaks. What the fuck? And I'm telling you, if you don't drop it in time and the mirror breaks, yeah. you're going to die either two ways. The baby, because she's going to scratch you so hard, she's going to get into an artery that kills you. Oh, shit. Or the second one, the, the mom. The mother's going to kill the you mom. through the mirror. No, not even. She's Yeah, I guess through the mirror, but she's not even going to let you leave the washroom. Before you have a chance to leave, dead. Damn. That's like some, yo. That's literally like Bloody Mary type beat. I know it is. They're saying it's not Bloody Mary because I, I don't know if um, this the the baby or was whatever her baby. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But yeah, it's just like a random lady. You know the origin. Do you know no, the origin? I, I don't of know this? the lore. No, you don't know the lore, yo. Because well, when you said how are you gonna die, I was thinking, are you gonna get sore <laughs> No, that's yo. My cousin told me this story before when I was yeah. little. Yeah, it's like every time if you go to your toilet at three a.m. Okay, if you go to the toilet and flush, yeah. and look at the toilet bowl, you'll see blood. Why? I don't know. That's what you said. That's what you said. <laughs> no, someone just had their period. <laughs> your mom was probably in there before. You. <laughs> that's what you said. So I never flushed that at three a.m. To this day, <laughs> if I take a pee in the morning or like that late at yeah. night. I just let it simmer, fam. Yeah. <laughs> no lie. No, no lie, though. When it's 3 a.m. and I go to the washroom and I pee, yeah. I'm too lazy to flush anyway. I just go also, also, it's like a discreet thing. Like, I'm not trying to make yeah, it. Exactly. I'm not trying to wake everybody up. Exactly. Do you do that thing where you pee on, like, the side oh, of the bowl? Yeah. <laughs> That's a classic. That's a classic. If you don't do that, you're kind of rude. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, in, in, in the morning, when you have morning wood, right? Yeah. And you go to the, the, your, your washroom. No, I don't do that thing where, like, <laughs> I don't do that, bro. Do you, do you shoot? Like three pointers? Do you go away from the toilet, or do you do want to do? Oh, I'm gonna put you guys on. No, I, I have technique. I have technique. No, Listen, because the main one is like this. You have to bend down at like a thirty degree angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's one. That's one way. There's there's all these other like techniques you can do. Yeah, yeah. So if you wake up with morning wood okay. and you want to pee and it's really hard to pee for a guy, yeah. this is my technique. Okay. You stand up and you hit that lunge, bro. <laughs> You hit that I've lunge, never, fam. I've never, I've never seen the lunge. You hit that lunge. Trust me. Hit the lunge. You'll hit it every time. I promise. Really? I promise. That's like the greatest technique you could do. The lunge? The lunge. So you're not bending down. Like, you're just lunging. You're lunging. You're lunging like this. Look, look. What? Lunge. <laughs> I've never heard You hit that. the lunge, bro. <laughs> Swear to God, I've never heard that. <laughs> nah, not a lot of people know about it. Like, yeah. That's that's the technique though. That's how you do it. Word, because sometimes I'll just sit down and try to force it down. Yeah, but like it always misses. <laughs> Yo, did you know? Um, did you know? Have Have you ever had those poos where like you sit on the on the on the lid? On the lid? What do you mean? Well, like like, like you sit up, you sit like this. You like what? You go like this. <laughs> Loki, I have. Loki, I have. <laughs> nah. So when I was a kid, right? When I was a kid, I could only like defecate like that yeah i can only do that okay and i yeah so like i would actually be constipated like no if i didn't I get that. I get if that. i didn't mm -hmm. now i looked at it recently mm -hmm. and there's actually studies oh shit. humans are supposed to poo like that really humans oh, no. are supposed to poo yeah, yeah. in like a in like a squat like no, this it makes sense it makes sense they're supposed to it's like forcing your shit out yeah we're not supposed to sit like mm -hmm. that that's actually bad for a prostate yeah Espe like, especially like, for like guys just, just spread out right yeah now if you look at any animal in the wild Wild, mm -hmm. when they poo they don't sit they they literally crouch yeah. on a squat on yeah. a squat position mm -hmm. now the reasoning for this is because it's like an angle right when you're sitting when you're yeah. sitting your your uh digestive system is on a really weird angle and it doesn't flow through mm -hmm. fast yeah. yeah so when i was a kid i was so used to doing the the squat mm -hmm. when i went to sitting which i do now yeah it's like it's not the same no but yeah. one way to get to get um to combat that one way to actually do it properly with yeah. sitting yeah i know it is you put like a stool oh yeah yeah and then you you put your legs together right yeah yeah you, you put the stool mm -hmm. so you you're like doing a squat you're sitting but yep. the stool is like levitating your feet yeah 
I was just gonna say that because I, I had trouble like taking shits, mm -hmm. but then I, I searched that up and it was like, okay, put a stool and then put your legs really close together. Yeah. So your body is like, it, it's like forcing it. That's out. how you do it. That's yeah. actually how you do it. That's yeah. how you're supposed to boo. True. And did you know dogs, what? like when they poo, they only poo in one direction. Really? <laughs> no, you never I didn't knew know that. that. No. So I think I think the direction's what? Like southwest? <laughs> southwest. Wait, every south dog. Every said dog. <laughs> every dog. Look at your dog. When what? they poo, you know how they, they turn around, they do their little shuffle? Yeah. And then they once once they find their direction, they take a poo. No. Same thing with cows. Cows will all stand in the same direction. <laughs> Anytime you look at a you look at a farm with cows, yeah. they all stand in the same direction. Wow. So there's a theory with like the magnetic field, they can feel certain frequencies. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's why they always point to that direction. Holy smokes. So in um in Washington, yeah, I think I think not even that far from the White House, like literally five kilometers away from the from the White House. Yeah, there's this uh, there was this farmer, mm -hmm. and he found this hole in his farm, okay. like a huge ass hole, right? Yeah. So he looked down, and it was deep. It was hella deep, and he took his rope and tried to measure it. Ew. He no rope. <laughs> oh, okay, bro. What are you thinking? No, because it's like it's gonna go down in the hole, and it's like sh just shit there. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. Okay. This hole, he tried looking down, complete mm. darkness, super deep. So he bought hella rope, hella rope, hella okay. rope, and he tried to measure it. Yeah. It turns out it would be longer than the height of a tall ass mountain. So what? Hit that hole mm -hmm. might very well be the deepest hole in the world. Oh, that's shit. that's what he's claiming, right? So he ended up going on like um on all these news broadcasts, all these yeah. podcasts, everything talking about it. Mm -hmm. And one of his stories was yeah. that one day he saw a beam of light, like shoot out of the sky the from that hole, like a, almost like a transparent light. Okay. Super, super bright and just shoot to the sky at nighttime. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, what is, what is going on, uh -huh. right? So apparently what happened to test it out, to test that hole out, when it, he had a lot of dogs and I guess one of his dogs passed away. Uh -huh. And just to test it out, he threw his dog down the hole. What? He threw his dead dog down the oh, hole. Oh, dead dog, okay. The dead dog, right? Mm -hmm. And the next day, gone. The dog was alive. <laughs> what? The dog was alive. <laughs> roaming around oh, the, the yard what? what yeah so what is that what like a healing yo so take this in take this okay. in this guy that was on all these news news broadcasts and shit yeah he got silenced and if you try and google maps his farm there's a huge white block covering his house no and you couldn't see also i think they completely hid everything about that farm and yeah. you can't even see that it used to be a farm anymore no so it just looks like plain land Fuck. so they hid everything and that that um that farm was not too far away from the white house mm -hmm. the white house a little bit farther it's even closer to this military base oh, okay raps yeah well, why does all all the shit that happens is close to a military base i don't know bro <laughs> they're doing some some next test there because you know the cornfield like what Every, like everybody's saying like oh assumptions that they something was carved in the cornfield so they made a picture mm -hmm. and they're saying that the ufo came down and made a picture of something oh yeah like a, a crop yeah. like uh what do you call those <laughs> crop signs yeah, or some shit no, no lie if i'm an alien i'm doing like the craziest like messages in the cornfield like, <laughs> like know, lol or something like that <laughs> nobody's gonna believe that though yeah. nobody's gonna believe that shit or like <laughs> yo like, created by an alien yo theory right now theory right now yeah. what if all of these crop circles mm -hmm. that aliens left behind yeah. aren't actually just random symbols what if they're actually just like a guy like they're equivalent to drawing a penis <laughs> Like they're just fucking with us, bro. Facts, facts. <laughs> I was gonna say it's just a drunk tractor guy. Yeah, and, like he's just driving around, and all of a sudden he just made like this picture. Yo, but honestly, some of the crop circles are crazy. No, though. yeah, they like are. they look real. Yeah, they look fucking like abstract. Some people in a the movie think. Mm -hmm. Now, there's also there's this crazy theory I heard. Okay. About UFOs, actually. Oh, shit. Okay. And you know how during the 70s to 80s mm -hmm. they had those occurrences where. It was very popular. You hear, oh, I got abducted by aliens. Yeah, yeah. I got abducted, right? Now, there's this theory, there's this like conspiracy theory is saying okay. that all of these UFOs, they're actually like fake and, okay, blur this out, but okay. government funded. Okay. So that, 
they can go ahead and abduct people and clone them. I mean, shit, that makes sense. So if you think about it, if you think about it, mm-hmm. so what it actually was, they made a fake UFO. Mm-hmm. They made a fake UFO and they would abduct women, bring them into the UFO yeah. and dress up like aliens so that she thinks she was abducted by aliens, but actually it was just humans. Nah. See, there, there's also a cloning theory where all the big celebrities, yeah. they have a clone just in case they get killed by accident. Oh. So once you make it into the really big leagues, yeah, yeah. let's say, oh, you get the verification check. Yeah. You feel know I me? Mean? Then now they take a piece of the hair, clone you. Mm. So now just in case anything happens, you will always get replaced if something happens. What if, what if mm-hmm. Jordan Peele's movie... <laughs> Oh, um, get out, get out is actually a wake up call or trying to yeah. like warn us about yeah. brainwashing like that happening yeah. in real that life. Ass. You know, that, that, that scene that pissed me off the most, which one he's like, honey, give me the keys. And then the, 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 oh, the, yeah, the white know. girl, the white girl's like, no, I don't want to, honey, give me the fucking keys. Oh my. And she's like, no, I'm not going to do it. Or some shit like that. <laughs> you mean these keys? Mean these? <laughs> <laughs> that shit is so petty, bro. Oh my God. Shit. And then his mouth dropped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're not in the bag. They're not in the bag. You mean these? <laughs> <laughs> that shit is so petty, bro. Yo. But th- did you see the movie? I forgot I forgot the title, but it's a guy stuck in the room and there's a bunch of buttons everywhere on this ceiling and he has to live with nothing except every time he presses a button, yeah. he gets a random object. Whoa, what movie is this? I don't know. I don't know. I have to search it up, but you guys can tell me in the comments. So one day he pressed the button. Yeah. It was um uh, some bread or or something something that you need to cook. Mm-hmm. But he's like, "Fuck, I can't cook it." And then he threw he threw the bread somewhere. Yeah. Pushed the button on the top. What dropped down? A toaster. Oh. Now he can cook it you what know the me? heck this is interesting yeah exactly and now he had to use all the tools to try and escape that little box that he's in word yeah you watch get out right you watch yeah get out? watch get out so in get out did you did you see all those like details those hidden details about oh, get out like the line are you talking about the line Wait, what line so in parasite and get out yeah there's actually a line a se- like you can almost see in any any of the scenes yeah where one side is actually the normal side and the other side would represent like some crazy next universe oh yeah. yeah so if you watch it back you'll see like a really thin line really yeah what the heck yeah, yeah. i don't know if it's a get out but i think i know it is in get out parasite and get out parasite and get out whoa because remember in parasite the scene where the guy was like lying down yeah 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 he was half in the normal world and half in the in the crazy ass world oh yeah shit. in get out i was gonna get at this okay was you know that scene in get out where she's like eating cereal but she's eating cereal in like separate bowls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, weird. that was super weird, right? Everyone watch it like, why mm-hmm. she do? Why is she eating the cereal and then have the milk in the cup? Mm-hmm. You know why she was doing that? Why? Because in Get Out, it was dealing a lot with racism and culture, right? Yeah. She was separating the colors uh-huh. from the white. No. No, I didn't notice that. You bagged that? I didn't. So check this out. Check this out. Yeah. So there's another thing. Um, there's another hidden detail. Okay. You know when he escapes the chair? Yeah, when he's yeah. trying to escape yeah, the chair, yeah. right? Oh, he, he picks cotton? He picks cotton yeah, to get out. out of the thing yeah. for his freedom. I know. Cause yo, uh, yo, that, <laughs> no, shout out Jordan Poole. Jordan, Jordan Peele, Jordan Peele. Oh, yeah, Jordan Peele. <laughs> Jordan Peele basketball <laughs> Shout out Jordan Peele. The this, goat. This guy's crazy with yeah. it. Holy. Nah. He picked cotton for his freedom by putting it in his ear. I know. That's he, crazy. I know. Holy sh- I mean, he has that sh- all shit in us. Yeah. In us too. Like, there's a lot, but I forgot. I can't. Us, us a little bit scary to me. So I, I don't, I don't, I didn't like detail, detail it. Really? You no, know? but, but Get Out was okay for me. Mm-hmm. There, yo, oh my <laughs> God. The recent movie he dropped the trailer for. Which? If, yo, man, <laughs> if, if we go and watch it, I was, I was in the tra- I was in the, the movie theater, right? Okay. You know how they're playing the trailers before the actual movie? Yeah, yeah. I was watching the Kid Cudi and Jen Ortega movie, mm-hmm. actually. Yeah, yeah. So I was watching that, but the trailers were on first. Yeah. I'm sitting in my chair, right? And Shorty goes to the washroom, so I'm by myself. Yeah. <laughs> and literally, this is like during the day, so nobody's in the theater. I'm by myself, yeah, yeah. bro. I'm by myself. And I see the first trailer. <laughs> oh my God, bro. I think it's called Nope. nope. The, the the new Jordan Peele movie is called Nope. Okay. I watch this trailer. I'm like shivering. Yeah. <laughs> and then right after that one is some next A24 film, next horror film that's by like the hereditary people. Bro, <laughs> it's like the camera bro. guy knew you were scared of that shit. Yeah, just- yeah. Like right after that trailer, <laughs> yeah. A next trailer, I'm like, what the <laughs> frick? And I'm shaking in my boots and by myself in the theater. Now I didn't realize uh-huh. this was scared me the most. Okay. So I hear a. <clears throat> no, no. <laughs> I hear. <clears throat> 
that ass, right? So I'm like, what the fuck, right? Oh, fuck. I turn around. Somebody was there the whole time, bro. Oh my god! Somebody was there the whole time and never seen them. Nah, that's fucked. I don't know where. That's <laughs> fucked. You know, you know, because um, there's always there's cameras in the movie theater. Always. Yeah. So people who are telling me that they had sex in the movie theaters, they all there's always somebody <laughs> looking at you. I, I almost got yeah. to that point until unless like, but I knew that some shit was gonna happen. <laughs> Cause listen, listen. Yeah. So the movie was um <laughs> stars. It's something about stars in this. I think it's like all our stars align. Yeah. It was about uh the black girl and the Asian dude, and it was uh, some cheesy romantic movie. Mm-hmm. But no one was gonna watch that movie. But me and my, I guess we're yeah, like, yeah. okay, let's watch this movie. No one in the theaters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was watching like some Marvel movie that was on, right? Mm-hmm. And then all we knew was that someone was gonna check every like five minutes. Yeah. Right. And we're like, okay. Like blah blah blah, but mm. then I remembered. I was like, "No, we can't do it," because there's always cameras watching us. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. I, I didn't. I didn't. I never knew there's cameras. <laughs> cross that shit off the bucket list. That's all I'm gonna say. No, no, no lie. I want to do that just because <laughs> just to cross that shit off the bucket. No, list. what's funny? What's funny? We walked into the movie theater one time. Yeah, and then we're, we're it's like empty, right? Because yeah. it's like during the day, like nobody's there. And we see like the corner of the movie theater, like this girl, like she's she's like popped up. Yeah, there's always a person. Like no, very back. Oh, very oh, back. Like watching the movie, <laughs> she like popped up. I'm like what the fuck? <laughs> and then and I just realized, wait, she's popped up like that because there's someone behind her like this. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my Yo. goodness. You Yo. guys are so reckless, fam. <laughs> and and my my uh friend works at HM, right? Mm-hmm. And the main thing that he always notices the change is, room? Yeah, is the change room. Because it's actually nice. It's nice mm-hmm. lit up. You feel me? You can go in there with your significant other. Mm. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> but they always say, like, one time they actually see he heard like noises and shit. But he just come Yeah. On, what are you gonna do? You're gonna you're not, yeah, like sh- I'm not even <laughs> trying to see that. You know what I mean? I'm not <laughs> even trying to sh- <laughs> 4k <laughs> but you know this did you see the the videos like trying to catch my ghosts um lacking and then so he's in the washroom <laughs> what? and then he pees with a water bottle so he's not actually peeing <laughs> and then he goes like Psss. and then he punches <laughs> he punches the shower <laughs> yo do you think <laughs> what say it fam we're already two in we talked about like dicks porn everything on this one <laughs> No, nah, nah, this one, this one's related to what you just said. Okay. Do you, do you think if, if if you're a ghost, right? Do you think if you're a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> I already know. What do you think if there's any break times, like you're not trying to ghost today, <laughs> or like it doesn't matter? I'm always constantly haunting this man. Like, no matter what I'm doing, feel me? No. If I'm taking a poo, if I'm taking a piss, doing something on my bed, you know what I mean? Is it always there, or is it like, do you ever take a break? <laughs> Yo, I, okay, this is my theory. So ghosts yeah. treat like our nine to fives. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like their nine to fives is like twelve to like four. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> That makes sense. That makes so much sense. Oh, no, that makes sense because, yeah, in the morning, you don't see ghosts. Yeah, you don't see ghosts at, in the morning They're or during the They're day. Sleeping. They're sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> and you have the odd one out, but he's probably just doing the midnights. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing the graveyard shift. <laughs> Yo, that makes sense though. Facts. And then like how do how to like um interview ghosts? Like, yo, let me hear your best boo. <laughs> I was like, oh, let me see your best creep in the shower. Yo, somebody make that a show, bro. Oh, That'd be a sick Netflix show. Yeah. Netflix, if you use that no, show. No, we should make that shit, fam. We should make that shit. <laughs> That'd be sick. That'd be so it's sick. Like, you know how it's weird? It's like you never see your teachers like in public. Never see your teachers in public. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. like what are they doing? And then when you see them, they actually you're actually like, oh, what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, it, right? it feels weird. It yeah, feels weird. It feels weird. <laughs> Like, I'm not supposed to see that. <laughs> so I have a story about how a 34 year old teacher mm-hmm. loved her 13 year old student. Oh, which the is heck? weird. Yeah, and this is a crazy story. Yeah. So I think um she had the student in grade two mm-hmm. and then in grade six again. Yeah. Right. So they were kind of creating a bond already. They're like close. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. very close. Right. And this this student was her favorite teacher too. Mm-hmm. So I think in one of the summers, this the teacher took the boy. To like an art camp. Mm. You know one of those? So Wait. it was a boy and a, and a woman. And a woman teacher. Okay. Yeah. And then Kathy, the teacher, yeah. was found in the backseat of the car dr- in the camp. Oh, what the heck? With the boy. Yeah. And so, and so everyone was like, what the fuck is going on? Mm-hmm. No one reported it. Right? So I think, and j- during this whole time, the teacher had two kids with 
because she had a husband mm -hmm. the whole time. So, and the husband was kind of sketchy, but he never reported it. It was until the husband's family relatives reported it. Mm. So, so boom, once she gets reported, she goes to jail, yeah. right? The craziest thing happens. So while, when she's accused of like having sex with a minor, yeah. news comes out that she's pregnant with the kids, with the, with the 13 year old's kid. What the fuck? Yep. And so this is crazy too, because the sentence was like I think a year, yeah. but they wanted to trim it down just because they she had to take care of the baby mm -hmm. with the boy, mm -hmm. right? So they slimmed it down to six years, and also she was allowed she when she got out yeah. she wasn't allowed to see the kid or the 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 boy she had sex with. Damn. But here's here's the crazy thing. What what what? She actually did. She got caught with the boy again, and and she took care of the kid. She got accused again. Right before the next sentence, guess what happened? What happened? She had another baby with the kid. Ooh, what the heck? Yeah. What the hell? So now the sentence was cut even longer. And that was the end of the story. She had two babies and she to had cut to cut the sentence. She take a she had to take care of the kid in jail. In jail? Yeah. That's a thing? Yes. Whoa, what the frick? Yes. That's kinda crazy. What it the is, hell? No, no, you ever watch that movie, um, That's My Boy? That's my boy. No. Nah? Okay, so it's like an Adam Sandler movie. Yeah. But it's kind of similar to that okay. where he was like this, this the cool kid in the yeah. high school. Yeah, actually, it might have been, might have been like middle school or something. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, he had like affairs with the teacher, mm -hmm. and the teacher had a kid okay. with Adam Sandler when oh. he was a kid. Oh. <laughs> it's weird, man. That that's just a whole like case. Yeah, that's that's tough though. Yeah, but I think it's it's really 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 weird when it's like a male teacher oh, and sure. like a a girl. Not saying like it's any worse mm -hmm. but i think it's even more weird yeah. because i feel like if you're in the kid's position mm -hmm. if you're that boy yeah. all the other boys are like damn he got that yeah i know that ass. it's kind of like <laughs> yeah a teacher a teacher a male teacher in my elementary school got fired yeah just because i remember how he was moving he was moving very like like touchy pedo-ish he always like oh here's a graham character yeah like, give me a hug like what bro i feel like i feel like female teachers can get away with it sometimes mm. uh, yeah it's iffy they can get away with yeah, it sometimes that's true but obviously it's never good exactly because anybody's dealing with something like that yeah go straight to the feds yo. yeah exactly exactly like <laughs> straight if, to the feds straight to jail yeah because <laughs> what's, what's the one thing every like rapper says oh i want to fuck a milf of course if you're that legal age it's lit you feel me <laughs> <laughs> you know that meme that's going around on TikTok? when you just said that i like had the vision in my head yeah yeah you know the TikTok that's like reach for the stars young boy reach oh, for the stars yo, yo i know that you know you know the original one was yeah. supposed to was actually supposed to just be a motivation yeah i know i was about to say that i was just and about to say guy, that the guy who created it was like fuck i created it for this but it turned into this i know i know it was a woman it oh, was yeah, a woman yeah. it was a girl she's like reach for the stars young boy reach for the it was motivation it was literally motivation and she was clapping like reach for the stars reach for the stars you get there you're gonna get there almost they're almost there but the kids turn it to, to they sexual turn it, yeah like, while fucking the girls like i think that's the nature of memes though yeah no matter what they're gonna find a way to like make it so some next bullshit and i think i think it's the more serious ones where they want to turn it into a meme if it's mm. supposed to be serious yeah that's when they turn it funny <laughs> no that's actually love, true that's why i love this generation that's actually true yeah. that yo you even see with the war bro i know i know it's with fuck. the war they're trying to make it like a meme it is fucked like, yeah. it's real stuff going I know, on i know do you think do you think there's um do you think memes are gonna be in history books yes i think so too i hope we have one i think so too I, I, no i think not not gonna lie i don't know no you know kanye's in the history books with with donald yeah, trump yeah, you seen that, that one but that's like kanye though i feel like we're just gonna have always just those youtube rewinds and that's how it's gonna be youtube rewinds yeah and that's how we're gonna remember the memes oh. no way they're gonna put memes in books if that happens our generation has won yo business idea right now create a meme book no create a history book but it's about social media oh, that's or it's fire. about like that's history hard. of memes that culture oh my god that's so fun influencer culture social media all of that that's so easy to do anyone could do that too yeah like a history yeah. book like that yeah fuck you jump for jump history yeah <laughs> fuck it, man i was gonna say if you don't claim that i'm doing jump that for jump. see i'm telling you i have all these millionaire <laughs> ideas i'm not gonna do all of them if you guys want to pick all one right. off go ahead and yes take sir it. okay but bet. just don't use the ones i'm using <laughs> <laughs> fuck just nobodies yes, thank you for sir. watching jumper jump podcast yes, this sir. episode uh click the links in our bio check out my new podcast actually can't tell me podcast mm -hmm. doing debate topics hot takes all that stuff there yeah. and yeah, go go to listen to apple spotify all that i'm gonna drop clothing soon so just get ready for that and yeah that's it jumpers jump out uh, deuces